I have my own personal theories regarding Lindsay's unsolved murder. I believe Lindsay's boyfriend knows what went on with Lindsay's murder. Police ruled him out as a suspect, but father's intuition tells me otherwise. Every year I hold a public walk for justice in honor of Lindsay. The walk ends at the police station because I feel that's where the responsibility lies to solve Lindsay's murder. I think the police are uh, not handling this investigation properly at all. I believe they're incompetent and they're not doing their job. I'm very public about my dissatisfaction with police. I don't know anywhere in the world where an organization takes 11 years to accomplish a task. Their task is to solve a murder, and 11 years is not acceptable. I don't believe the police are capable of solving this case, and I think they're hiding something, someone, or covering up the murder itself. The police asked me to shut down the Lindsay Buziak murder website. The officers mentioned to me that there are things on the website that could jeopardize the integrity of the case. I asked them, I didn't even know you had a case, do you have one? And they won't even answer that question. Well, to be very clear, Lindsay Buziak's boyfriend is not considered a suspect, and it has been reported by police that he has passed a polygraph and found to have been very cooperative. Listen, I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I, I'm, I think a, in order for a conspiracy, particularly one to hold together for 11 years, a lot of people have to be involved. A lot of people have to hold together and not crack and or make a mistake in some way. And that's just, I've just been in this for a long, long time and that's highly, highly unlikely. And my experience with law enforcement is that they try and do a really good job, that they work really hard at what they do, they put themselves in harm's way to keep the rest of us safe every day. Doesn't mean there aren't bad apples in every barrel, but. My experience has been that they're generally highly devoted, sincere, hardworking men and women. That's been my experience with law enforcement and I work with them a lot. You've, you've put some very critical things up on the internet against the Sandage Police Department. On social media, you said the police know who and why and are afraid to say. They screwed this up. They botched their investigation from day one, cannot recover, save face and protect their friends. Police seem to think it is okay to have killers walking free amongst people. And then in interviews with the media, uh, you've, you've questioned their professionalism and competency. You've accused them of knowing who the killer is. Dr. Phil, I can give you a recent example. I was out there in December. I had somebody willing to talk to me about information regarding my daughter's murder. I convinced that person to speak to the police, which I always do. That person was not contacted when I returned to Victoria in February. When I questioned the police, they said, oh yeah, we'll put that on our to-do list. But if you don't think the police are competent, if you don't think they're doing what they're doing, and you've got somebody there that says, I have information about who killed your daughter, you just said, well, go tell these incompetent people over here. You didn't say, pull up a chair, tell me what the hell you know. Well, that I seems... In I do that. I offer to fly anywhere people are that tell me they have information. And I'm prepared to do that with that person. But I tell them, I can't make the arrest, so you need to tell the police but this. But you didn't want to know what they knew. I go public with everything I know. Well, so you go public I, with a lot more. Than that. You've gone public with names of who you, who you think's involved. Absolutely.